Good morning, everybody. Hope you had a great weekend and uh, happy May Day, a day late. Um, thank you again for joining us. If you can, if you're able, if you will get your Bible and turn with me to the 100. And uh, 33rd Psalm. If you're driving down the road, don't do that. Uh, but if you're able, uh, grab your Bible, or your tablet, your phone, and let's start into the 133rd Psalm. A uh, beautiful Psalm about the unity uh, of God's people. And what a, what a desperate need there is for that today um, in the kingdom of God. That um, that God's people would be uh, unified, uh, that we would come together, uh, work together for uh, the kingdom. Uh, remember that we're not building uh, our own kingdom, uh, but all of us should be working together to bring about uh, the expansion of the kingdom of God. And there's probably nothing that has done more harm um, to the gospel and the spread of the gospel than uh, division, uh, disunity uh, in, uh, in the life uh, of the church, in the life of believers. And so this psalm uh, is going to address that. It's a psalm of David uh, that um, would have been sung as the Jews made their way uh, to Jerusalem for uh, the various uh, feasts. Um, and uh, dedicating themselves uh, to unity as they came together uh, in uh, Jerusalem, as they came together for these various celebrations, um, that, uh, that unity uh, would be the, um, the primary, uh, maybe not primary, but would be the, the, the description uh, of, uh, of, uh, of the gathering. Uh, and one of the things that um, uh, would be my prayer for uh, the Church of Jesus Christ today um, is they may not sing very well, they may not preach very well, um, you know, they may not be too smart, may not be very much, they may not be much to look at, but they love each other. Uh, they are they they're working together for a common cause, uh, and how good and how pleasant it is, the psalmist says, for the brethren to dwell together uh, in unity. And what a, again, what a, just a stirring uh, challenge for us uh, today to work towards unity, um, to not be uh, arguing over what kind of music we're going to sing or what color the carpet's going to be or uh, some of the silly just uh, ridiculous things that um, that unfortunately I've uh, heard uh, professing Christians uh, argue over and churches divided over. Some of you have heard me say it. Maybe the worst I've ever heard uh, was a church that was growing and building, uh, building a new building, almost done with the building, uh, came time to equip the building, and uh, got into an argument over, and this will tell you a little bit, the age uh, of this statement, whether to buy green chalkboards or black chalkboards. Uh, and the church ended up splitting uh, over what color chalkboards to buy. Uh, what an embarrassment uh, to the testimony uh, of Jesus Christ. And so uh, as we start on to this verse, uh, again, the Word of God tells us how good and how pleasant it is for the brethren to dwell together in unity. What a, what a beautiful statement. But on the other hand, as I thought about that, uh, I thought how sad it is uh, that we have to be reminded of that. Uh, we don't have to be reminded to breathe. Um, we don't have to be reminded to eat. Uh, that the children of God, brothers and sisters of Christ, uh, have to be reminded of the beauty and the importance of, uh, of unity, of cooperation, of uh, coming together again for a common cause, uh, for the advancement uh, of the kingdom of God. And he says here, uh, reminds us of that statement, we say how good and pleasant it is for brethren, for brothers 
uh, to get together, to join together. Um, you know, as brothers and sisters in Christ, we're not just church members. Uh, we're not just acquaintances, but we are part of a family, the family of God. Um, and how beautiful it is, how good and how pleasant. One of my favorite verses uh, for the brethren to come together uh, and dwell uh, in unity. And I, I'm just going to leave it there today. We're just going to cover this part of this verse uh, and just remember uh, and remind you uh, of the beauty, uh, the joy that it brings God. Uh, those of you who are parents, um, you know how, how, how much joy it brings to your heart. Uh, if you have more than one child, and uh, sometimes uh, you'll catch them, uh, they may not even know you're there, but you'll oversee, you'll observe uh, your, your small children, brothers and sisters, uh, playing together, um, you know, playing uh, in the yard or, in, you know, pl just playing together, enjoying each other, not fighting, not arguing, uh, working together. And uh, what, uh, what joy that brings to a parent's heart. Uh, and how disappointing it is uh, when, uh, when you have, again, your, your children uh, fighting and arguing uh, among themselves. Imagine today how much greater uh, joy it brings to the heart of God to see uh, people who are all uh, professing Christians, uh, claiming to be saved, redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ, uh, planning on spending eternity together, uh, and we can't even cooperate and get along uh, in uh, for a few hours a week uh, here on earth. And so we need to make unity uh, a real goal, uh, and we do, one of the first things we do, one of the first ways we get to uh, to unity uh, is that our personal uh, preferences, our, our own selfish self-interest, um, have to be uh, set aside. If if you know, you, you have to remember, uh, you know, one of the big arguments, one of the big things in the church today is church music, worship style. Um, and people get really been out of shape about that. And you may not like that song, um, but somebody else may. Um, next week we'll sing a song you like, um, and somebody else may not like it. And uh, I have that conversation often with our worship leader um, that probably every song you sing, um, somebody's not going to like it, and somebody is. Uh, and so we have to put aside that and, and strive towards unity because that pleases uh, our Heavenly Father uh, and draws men and women, boys and girls, uh, to Jesus Christ when they see his people dwelling in unity. You think about that today, uh, and let's work towards unity in the body of Christ.